Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I have for you a review. I have the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. So I'm gonna be applying this. I have a demo that I'm going to jump into in just a second. And then I'm going to be giving you check-ins throughout the day so you can see how it is wearing. A little information about the foundation itself. You get one fluid ounce, which is typical. It comes in a pump style, which I think is great. I'm finding that this packaging is very luxe. It's very reminiscent of some higher end foundations. I have the shade 430. There are a total of 30 shades to choose from in this foundation, which I think is fantastic. Now this retails for $14.99, which is a little bit more spendy, and that is, I'm taking this information from the actual L'Oreal website. So perhaps you could find it cheaper at Ulta when they do their buy one, get one half off sale, Walmart, Target, sometimes CVS runs coupons, Walgreens, but I wanna get my information from the actual website. So here's what they are claiming on this. This is their absolute most breathable, lightweight, yet long wear foundation and I think when you hear all three of those words you're like sign me up as I've gotten older I've learned that less foundation is actually better for me it, it's not as aging I'm not having anything sinking into fine lines this is L'Oreal's most breathable foundation that they have ever done I have tried other L'Oreal foundations and I would have to say this is by far the lightest formulation the consistency of it, it's very serum like very skin like Yet the formulation still provides a great amount of coverage within that very thin formula. This is medium to full buildable coverage. Today I did, I would say medium. I'm kind of more into that medium. I still wanna see my freckles through. Not my imperfections necessarily, but that's where concealer comes into play. I like that my skin can breathe through this and that it's just not loaded with really thick, heavy foundation and powder and concealer. As a woman who is maturing every day and so are all of us, I'm just liking less and less, but within that, I still have the expectation of needing some coverage. This is the formula's three oil absorbers, resist, sweat, water, and transfer. Ultra Thin Liquid goes on smoothly to give a fresh, healthy looking complexion that lasts. Color stays true and blends in evenly so your makeup looks fresh all day. This also does have an SPF of 25 in it. I'm thinking that this might be an absolutely wonderful day-to-day -day workhorse foundation. I'm gonna jump right on into the demo so you can see how this foundation applies and then come back and chat a little bit about the foundation. I have already primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. The shade that I have in this foundation is shade 430 Ivory Buff. For me right now, it's just a little bit too dark. I think in the summertime, it will be a great undertone. It will work well, but for now, um, it's gonna be a little bit dark. I can make it work. I can obviously mix it with other things, but for the sake and the integrity of this review, I did wanna let you know the shade is a little dark. But I watched Mario Make by Mario on YouTube and he had made a video somewhere saying that he usually actually picks foundations that are a little bit darker than people's neck and like their chest, which I thought was interesting. But I suppose it's for filming sake, then it doesn't look so dark or so yellow maybe because of the, you know, the bright lights and whatever. So maybe I'm right on point. See, so I used about half to one full pump and I'm going to cover my entire half of my face here and I've been really enjoying applying foundation with my finger first especially a foundation of this consistency I guess I should clarify a foundation that has almost like a serum consistency where it feels kind of like skincare I find that it is best applied by using your finger just like you would with your skincare you wouldn't take a brush to smoosh that in then I go over it with a dampened beauty blender and just push all of the product into my skin. I think a thicker foundation that this probably wouldn't work as well, but I like to, I love the warmth of my finger and how that really marries the product in with my actual skin. It's interesting because looking at this now in front of all these lights, this foundation seems to be matching me really well. Now when I go outside in broad daylight, then it doesn't look so perfect. But I think that just proves my point even more that it's okay if it's a little darker, say if you're on camera or whatever. Obviously if you're out in natural daylight, you want to try to match as best as possible. 
So here we have one side of foundation, and I don't want to do any more because I really like to maintain the integrity of this foundation where it's just like a skin glow. And then this is the side you can see I have no foundation on. I thought this was a perfect day to do this because I woke up puffy, retaining water, and I have blemishes going on. And I thought, well, you know what? Let's just see what this foundation can really do. So this is with foundation. Let me turn the light all the way down. There's my light all the way down to just very minimal here so we're not sitting in the dark. And then this is nothing. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just one pump. Cover the whole half. And then I will let you see what the whole thing looks like here. So I finished the rest of my makeup and I did do a very light powdering, a little bit of a dusting to kind of keep it down. Now today is cooler, so I have a feeling that this is going to last really well today. So as you can see, it blended effortlessly. I used my fingers and then I kind of smoothed things out with the Beauty Blender. I've applied it solely with the Beauty Blender and I've also applied it with a brush. In all three scenarios, I had no issues blending. If anything, it really blends itself. Meaning I don't have to work with anything clinging to any dry patches on my face. As the temperature rises, I tend to get a little bit more oily combo throughout the day. My normal combination skin is what I usually have year round. More combo in the summer and in the winter, definitely more normal to dry. I'm really pleased with the amount of coverage I was able to get out of. I could apply less or I could apply more. I'm not noticing that it looks cakey or anything. I feel like if anything, my skin just looks really fresh really pretty, really natural. I've worn this foundation a few times already and I can kind of speak to the longevity already even on those more warmer days that we've had. More, warmer being like 60s, 70 degrees. We had a few days that were quite humid. Yes, I did get a little bit oily. However, the oil didn't break up the foundation and it looked very pretty. I would say over the course of like an eight hour day. I would say no matter your skin type, take a look into this foundation. I think if you're a little bit oily, this might not be your go-to. But if you need something that's just going to look really skin-like and really gorgeous initially, and you're going to take photos or something like that, I think this would be great. You might not find that it's going to last all day for you. I can't speak to that. But once again, I like to have different finished foundations because I like to cocktail them. I think adding this to a matte foundation would make it absolutely perfect because you're going to get those skin-like serum qualities. It may even thin out a thicker foundation, um, but yet you're still going to get that super longevity from the matte foundation oh my gosh I'm trying to show you the time okay it's 9 5 a.m. we are flying out of the house we have to go to my daughter's piano lesson and pick my husband up from the airport and then we're gonna go to lunch so I wanted to take you with me also here is my skin on a vlog camera and let me just tell you these are ruthless <laughs> they show everything so nine o'clock this has been on for what um, I'd say about 15, 20 minutes or so. All right, let's go. Kids are over the moon that daddy's back, back in town. So we're at Target Killing Time because we're the place we're gonna have breakfast at has a 45 minute to an hour wait. And there's a couple cute tank tops that I wanted to look for here. It is so rainy and dreary and drizzly that I'm really putting this foundation to the test today, let me tell you. No, no. So this is the I'm first sure. display I've seen here in San Antonio of Makeup Geek in the store. Okay, so they have little quads. Those are cute. I've never tried their cream stains. They have plush matte. Oh, I didn't know Makeup Geek had false lashes. That's new. Foiled pigments. Look like we have blushes. I think I'm going to give this stuff a try. I usually use Bioderma, but my friend Jelena said she really likes this. And I'm thinking I'm going to try this, especially when you do your eye makeup, just to kind of get any fallout out. So let's give this a go. Million dollar bacon. Basically candied bacon. Oh, so good. This is a salmon frittata with a chive cream sauce on the top. I've had this a few times. There's Parmesan cheese and I think there's some roasted red peppers in here. Oh my gosh, this is a lemon vinaigrette dressed salad. And this bread, as you can see, I've already dived in. It's dove in. That's the proper word. Delicious. I need proof of what time it is. Can you hand me my phone? It is now five... Oh, wait. <laughs> it's just... Hold it up. <laughs> it's 5.43 and I just got done attempting to eat the world's worst frozen pizzas I have ever bought. I usually have a knack for trying new things and finding good things to cook. Husband agrees over here. It was so bad. 
we literally ate the cheese and the toppings off of the cross because it was so even the kids who will I eat would have rather have ate it off of the cardboard it came on yeah i know <laughs> the crust it tasted like cardboard anyways okay i have been rolling around in the bed wait <laughs> I've been rolling around with the kids. A little extra descriptive word there. Um, rolling around with the kids. We watched a movie. My face has been buried in pillows. And so I've been living in this space today. Also, this morning, or when we were out, like it was raining. And it just was like... So the rain was pelting my face. It was just a really intense day to be testing out this foundation. But anyways, let's zoom you in hesitantly here. So we definitely have some wearing off. Had I not done all those things and just kind of been rolling around the house and, you know, not caring what my makeup looks like, things probably would be a little bit more perfected. I also ripped off my eyelashes because I can't wear those when I'm home. Um, but I would say that, I mean, it still looks fine. It looks fine. Does it look amazing? No. Um, I would say definitely a solid eight hours you can get out of this foundation. I think if you really try to keep it intact, things would look a little bit better than they do. I also did want to mention today's cold. Like we had 33 degrees, rain, wind, like just a cold day. So I'm thinking that this would probably last and look different at this point, this many hours later, had it been hot and humid out. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work for me in the summer, but I will definitely be wearing it because it's in my drawer and testing it out then. But as of right now, like this moment in time, I really like the finish of it. I like that you don't need a ton of product to look pretty flawless. It looks like skin. It doesn't look heavy. D do you agree like in person, it doesn't look like cakey like pretty good i mean he likes to tell me when my face looks too cakey he like he'll look at me outside and be like it just looks it's just too much you know and i'm fine with that like okay i'll i'll apply less or we're gonna swap out the foundation next time but overall i would say give this foundation a go i think you will really enjoy it if you like something that's going to be medium to full coverage buildable look very skin like just don't roll around the bed Okay, we gotta, I can't, I can't look at myself this close. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. This is traditionally a little bit different, um, the way that I do a foundation review, but we're just kind of, we got the whole fam in here today, so. <laughs> Hi. This is Isaac. So we are off to go to bed. No, no, no. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a little bit less of a traditional type uh, foundation review like I normally do, but I kind of like changing it up too, adding in some vlog footage and just kind of rolling with whatever life is serving us. So I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and we'll chat soon. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye.